Welcome Chapter Web Editors. This is Charlie Becker from the Chapters Department here at EAA. And I want to give you a brief introduction to Sitecore, which is the platform on which we'll have our new Chapter website offering. Before we jump into Sitecore though, let's go ahead and take a look at what the demo site in this case is going to look like. This is what you're going to receive from EAA when we turn the keys over to you. Um, it will have your chapter number up here and it will pretty much just look like this. So you can see there's a number of pages already in existence. The text is already there for you. Um, it's pulling information in from the EA website. So before I even log in, let's talk about something like this, a page like this. This is a templated page and you can see here that this information that I just highlighted is pulling in from the EA website. So you cannot change this on a template. It's going to pull it in automatically. You can delete the template if you don't want it and just create a new page that deals with whatever the topic is. And you can change the text up above. But the part right here starting at this EA 252, that is hardwired in. Let's take a look at another templated page. Contact us page. It's, the, it's a similar format, similar information, but it allows people to type in and send an email uh, to you. It's actually going to go to the same email that's printed right here. Uh, let's look at another templated page. This one is great. I love this one. This is Young Eagles. Uh, you can see right here there's some text, but then right here Young Eagles coordinator and below is being again pulled in from the EA site. And the cool part is we'll pull in your Young Eagle coordinators, but then if you have an event in youngeaglesday.org, it will automatically pull this in for you uh, from that site. And if somebody wants to register, they can just click right there and it'll take them over to the Young Eagles Day site. Uh, a couple of more we want to show that are templated pages. Um, here is tech counselors. Again, you can edit the top part of the page, but once you get down to the list of tech counselors, this part that I just highlighted, that's all being pulled from the EA website. Uh, IMC Club is a similar concept. Um, if you have an IMC Club, it's going to show up right here. Again, you can edit the text. Let's take a look at VNC Club and then uh, that'll conclude the tour of the live site. So here's the uh, VMC Club. You'll notice for 2v2 there is no uh, VMC Club meeting scheduled for this chapter, meaning that there is no VMC Club that operates at 2v2. So we know when we get into our page we'd like to get rid of this. All right. So let's go back and log into Sitecore. Um, all you have to do is type your username in and password, click log in. In this case I'm not going to save this one because I'm working on a demo site. And you're going to want to click on Content Editor. That's pretty much what you'll want for everything. And you'll, you'll end up with Content uh, and then Media Library. Just drill down on these triangles to get to your site. Okay, so EA Demo 1, that's what we're working on. In your case, it would say EAA and then your chapter number. And here are all those pages that I just showed you that, uh, uh, on, the, on the live site. So we know right off the bat... Um, that we want to delete the VMC Club page. But before we do that, let's just look at these this list of things here. I mentioned these are all templated pages. And the way you can tell a templated page is it has a unique icon. So these first three are templated, and then Young Eels on down to Ray, uh, Aviation Scholarship. Those are all templated pages. The generic page is newsletters. It has this little icon of text. Uh, anytime you see that icon of text means that that was a just a generic page that was created and there's no built-in functionality to it. Now on any of the templated pages, if you click a, on the page, you'll see at the top it says About Us and then there's Details is the next thing. In the details, you'll see this red text. It says this page automatically pulls in your chapter's information and address as well as your chapter's programs. Uh, below the page content. Uh, note, uh, it'll say this note does not display on the page. So that's how you know what that page, the, uh, the template will do for you. Um, now, getting back to the pages. We said right off the bat our chapter doesn't have a VMC club. So the first thing we're going to want to do is scroll down to VMC club and we highlighted that 
And a lot of times in Sitecore, there's more than one way to do something. So if we want to delete this page, you can see across the ribbon there, there's a big delete key. But the way I do most of my operations on pages is I'll right click and it'll bring up this uh, quick menu and I'm just going to select delete. Are you sure you want to delete the VMC club? I'm going to click OK and that is now gone from our list. Um, if we go out here to the page and we hit refresh, it's ironically still going to be here and you might ask yourself, well, how come it's still there? Well, that's because we have not republished this directory. So I'm going to go to the root, which is the top level here, the home, and I'm going to go to publish, click the publish button, publish this uh, in OK, and as soon as it's done publishing, we'll go back and check that page, and what you're going to find is, I'm going to go to the home to refresh, and you can see that the VMC club has disappeared from uh, the menu as a, as a potential page. So that's how you delete a page. Pretty straightforward there. Um, so what if we go, oh my gosh, I forgot that uh, we just formed a VMC club. Can I get that page back? The answer is yes. It's very easy. You go to the root, so the home for your chapter, and you right click, click insert, and you can either insert a generic page or bring back any of those templates. So we could bring back that chapters VMC page by just selecting this. Um, and let's go ahead and just do that. And you can see it says chapters VMC page. I would recommend when it creates a new page to get the naming exactly the way you want it. So in this case, I'd probably change it to VMC club. The reason I say that is when you click OK here, it's going to set that page up and it's going to have the item title and some other functionality correctly displaying so you don't have to go in there and edit a bunch of places. So this page is now set up and so whenever you make a change to a page or add a page like this, you're going to, you're going to have to click Save and then be on the Publish tab and then it's just Ready to Publish publish and you'll always get this publish item box and you're just gonna accept it by clicking publish and then it's saying do you want to proceed and you click OK so that has published okay now let's go see after we refresh the page if it shows up or not okay it did right there sometimes you might have to go back in and republish at the root um, if you find that you've added a page and you're not seeing it in your navigation go back and republish from the root right here. In this case, <clears throat> you can see that it's now way up here at the top. And when I look at this, I go, gee, I probably would have preferred to have that VMC club down in the navigation by the IMC club. They kind of make sense to go together. So I'm going to go back into my editor. I'm going to select the page. And I'm just going to click and hold the mouse down and drag it to right there and let go. And if you get a position just right, you know, it doesn't look like I got it quite right. I'm going to try that one more time. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Okay, I said there's two ways to do everything in, in Sitecore. Um, the other way to do this is if I go to the Home key, I've got the VMC Club highlighted. I can come over here and go to and make it the last page and then move it up one. And now it's where I want it. So now it says IMC Club, then VMC Club. So that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to click on my Publish button, click Publish, and proceed OK. And I'm going to close that out. And I'm, gonna, I'm just kind of wondering if it's going to republish the nav or not. It did. It, it moved it to the correct spot. Again, if you have any trouble with that, just go back and republish it from the root. So now I've got that VMC club where I, uh, page where I want it. So now we've added a page. We've deleted a page. Uh, we've also showed you how to move the pages around in the batting order, which is good. One other thing you might uh, want is... Uh, you may want to have a sub page. 
So let's say we said, you know, um, let's actually combine our uh, our VMC under the IMC club. If you want to do that, you can just cl click and drag it on top of the VMC club. And it says, are you sure you want to move VMC club to the IMC club? I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice now it is a sub page of the navigation uh, for IMC club. I'm going to go back and just publish that root page. And then let's go look and see how it looks on the actual website. All right, it's done publishing. I'm going to hit refresh. And you'll see now VMC doesn't show up in our navigation, but IMC club now has this little triangle. And if we click on that, it now displays the IMC club page and the VMC club page. So we just click on VMC club and boom, we're back to where we are. Again, very easy if you just change your mind later to uh, flip that around. All you have to do is click and drag that VMC club and I just move it down here to the bottom. Uh, hold on, that did not do what I want it to do. All right, I'll try it my other way. I'll come up to home and I'll go last. And it doesn't like that for some reason. And that is not working for some reason. Let me drop it there. Okay, there you go. Are you sure you want to move VMC Club to before IMC Club? I'm going to click OK. And now it's no longer in a sub page of IMC Club. So you can move pages around in it whenever you want. So that's how you would go ahead and remove a second layer of navigation. All right, <clears throat> now let's go ahead and actually show you how to edit the text on a page. Um, we're going to go ahead and start off with, uh, let's see, let's just go ahead to the home page. And I'm going to go back and we'll, we'll take a look at the home page here. And you can says, welcome to our chapter. You know, we're a group of aviation builders, etc. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over here to my existing webs.com page and just show you how I can move over some of the text to that home page. So whenever you want to edit anything, a page, you always have to get to the top and click on lock and edit. Once you've done that, you can scroll down here and you'll find the page content. It's within this details bar, okay? So if for some reason the details bar is not expanded, just touch it, it's gonna open up. You'll scroll down, you'll see page content and it'll say show editor. So I'm gonna click on show editor and that opens up this rich text editor box. And there's a lot of formatting functions. I'm not going to go into all of these, uh, but I will touch on a couple of key ones. So now I'm just going to go over to my old site, and it says Directions of the Chapter Hanger. I'm just going to highlight that text and copy it. Now, you do not want to try to highlight the images as well, because what will happen is you're not really copying the image. You're copying a reference to where that image is. So it'll look like it's correct on your page, but in a fact, it's pointing to that image on that other website. The problem with that is that when that other website page goes away, that image will disappear. So never copy and paste your images. You always want to download and then upload, and I'll cover that in a separate video. All right, so now I'm back here on my Rich Text Editor. I just hit Control-V, and you can see that now it says Directions of the Chapter Hanger, with some text. So that's how easy it is to move stuff from an old webs.com uh, site over to the EA or to your new site. Now what if you don't like the formatting here? Because it's going to bring over with it any formatting. What you can do is you can highlight it right here and right here this little dust broom uh, has the ability to strip all formatting uh, and you know word formatting, different options. I'm going to strip all formatting from it. So now there is no formatting. You still have got the the um, uh, the bold look here, but all the other formatting should be stripped out. I'm going to do that one more time. Boom. Okay. And let's just see. If I wanted to get rid of that, I could do that. No, it's a little bit. Oh, I see. It's a heading right here. 
So let's say I want to make this text larger on the whole the whole page. I can come over here to this and I can go normal heading heading two, three, four. I'm going to make everything normal at this point. So now all the text looks exactly the same. I still can increase the size right here. You know, if you want to make your size larger, I can make it a three, and that will increase the, the size. Now, if I want to make that directions to our chapter hanger bold, I can do that. Um, and so that's what we've got right here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. So now I'm done editing the page. You always want to follow the save and then click on the publish tab and then it's always ready to publish, publish, and then you get this automatic box of publish and OK. And then once you've done that, it'll publish that page. Let's go check it out. So here's what we had originally. Hit refresh. Boom. Now here's what I've got now. I've added that extra text. So that's how you can edit the text on a page. The same goes, uh, the same is true if you want to edit one of these uh, um, page, the templated pages. Let's just go ahead and show you how to do that. It's the same process. You click on the page, click lock and edit. You're going to scroll down uh, to under details to page detail, uh, page content. Click show editor. Here's the text. So if you want to change anything, you would just say, you know. We hope you can join us at our next event, period. Come down, accept, save, ready to publish, publish, publish button, and OK. And now we have published uh, the information. And that one, if we go back over here, to our about us. We're again pulling in this stock information, but now you can see that it, we've added this text right here. We hope you can join us at our next event. Now, one other thing is we're looking at this. It says chapter 252 up here in the right corner. That looks pretty good. Uh, but what if you want to change that piece of information or maybe add a city and state? That would be a very smart thing to do. Well, that's really easy to do. You're just going to go to your uh, root home page. You're going to scroll to the top and again lock and edit. You always got to do that first. And then you're going to scroll down and you're looking for header and image copy. And if you scroll down, you'll see header title and header subtitle. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add uh, EAA in front of chapter 252. And I am going to add our location, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and put a dash and put the Steve Whitman chapter because that's our chapter namesake. Again, I'm done editing. Save. Ready to publish. Publish. Click the publish button and OK. It does its magic. As soon as it's done, we're going to hit close. Let's go to the real site now. OK, so again, right now it's just showing e uh, chapter 22. Let's go ahead and click on the home page to refresh. And now, bang, EA Chapter 252, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Steve Whitman Chapter. The cool part about that is if you do it from that root uh, area, it will flow through to all of your pages. Now, one other thing to note is there are different banners associated with different pages. And um, we'll show you, in a separate video, we'll show you how to work with images. But notice that that text is flowing through to every page. If for some reason you don't like this text, you can in fact turn it off of a page. Um, and the other thing that you can do is you can position it to the left. You'll see right here under, again, we're under header, image, and copy. If you scroll down, you can click that positioning on the left and it will change that text over to the left hand side. I don't recommend it, but it is possible. Okay, well that's a brief overview of how to get started with your new Sitecore website. Uh, when you're done, you're just going to log out and hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight of how easy it is to work with Sitecore. It's not, uh, there's no HTML required, so hopefully this will give you a little bit of confidence to go in there and start moving some of your information over from your old webs.com site. Thank you.